Today we're going to be talking about depression and anxiety. This is Devin Kripe with DC Fitness and my Spartan Gods and today we're talking about depression and anxiety. Again, exactly how did I overcome it was through discipline, through fitness, nutrition, and mindset. Right? Each step of the way, that is how I overcame it. Personal growth, personal development is seeing where you are weak and improving that area. Yes, continuously evolving and growing your strengths, but the weaknesses are what's holding you back. So for a number of different reasons, I don't, I'm not going to get too much into my story, right? But from being dyslexic all through school, through being overweight all through school, I was bullied a lot. I had a lot of insecurities about uh, being poor, you know, being well, not well off, being not wealthy, the, the, the social status, the, the money status that I came from with my family. Um, not really having a good father figure. My father wasn't really there for most of my life. And when he was, he wasn't necessarily the best role model. I love him. I love him. I forgive him for everything. But just certain things he didn't teach me and wasn't there for me the way, um, you know, I'm going to be there for my kids and how other, you know, lucky, luckier kids have that. And, you know, but at least I have a father, right? So, and from traveling, never really staying in one place for too long for one to two years, uh, going from school to school, city to city, uh, really developed a lot of different things. There's many times in my life where I was depressed, I was lonely, very insecure, a lot of anxiety, a lot of social anxiety um, came with these things, right? And for a few years, I mean, that really led to me falling into bad habits and vices, right? Um, I think that's what most people go through is when they're feeling any of the stuff they're going through these actual traumas and problems and struggles things that that is actually real like not having support being bullied you know being overweight like without actually solving the problem what they tend to do what we tend to do and what I did was turn to vices and bad habits such as being lazy uh, watching TV uh, eating a lot of food I love McDonald's and candy and, and it was a huge thing for me I would eat a lot of food um, and and then eventually it turned into you know masturbation and porn and and it turned into um, really partying and when I moved to my dad's partying and drinking and and I was partying every weekend and getting straight wasted every single weekend and making some bad decisions and um, and then getting really into sm doing other drugs as well and smoke smoking a lot of weed I got really into smoking a lot of weed where I was smoking pretty much all day every single day and I'm talking like three four five six seven joints blunts a day by myself with my friends just constantly being addicted to that high and hiding away from my my life and l telling myself lies to justify why I was doing that right and it was because uh, not you know uh, it's lack of purpose lack of meaning insecurity anxiety my father wasn't you know just all this stuff Right? And I was going down that route and really since I became an adult, right, the last three, four years, I've been on this process and dedicating myself to personal growth, mindset, fitness, nutrition, really conquering my body and my mind and, and joining all these programs and coaches and reading all these books and just being obsessed with growth and improvement and mindset and fitness and habits and routines where over the last three years, even though it wasn't easy, it wasn't quick, it wasn't smooth, I've been breaking all these vices, all these bad habits, you know, all of that stuff is down the drain. I'm completely on God's path now, living a life of holiness and righteousness and getting rid of all sins. And it's still a continuous process. It's not always easy, but um, I've been on the process the last three years and I I've overcame a lot. I've learned a lot and I've been actually really able to improve myself and strengthen my weaknesses and break all limitations and false identities and, and vices and bad habits that were holding me back from stepping into my true potential and purpose of life. And that's exactly what I help other men do now and what I've been doing on this journey, right? Um, and of course, it started out with just working out and nutrition, but it's developed into a lot of mindset and mental blockages and um, and, and even and just and other habits and routines and disciplines that really develop me into the character, the quality, the man that can go through anything and, and break all that stuff and actually lead and help other men do the same. Educate, motivate, inspire, right? And guide and lead and, and support and hold accountable to doing those things 
as every man needs and that's what I needed that's why I've hired so many coaches and I've had so many mentors and been a part of so many programs that have helped me overcome these things you know of, of course a lot of it was me a lot of most of all of it was God right but um, it was me showing up every day having the drive having the ambition God leading me and guiding me and, and it's been that journey so what I say to you guys is if you're going through any trauma, anything that you've gone through, depression, anxiety, insecurity, um, any anything related to those, you know that it's from trauma and problems and, and things that you, you know, you need to work on, right? And you probably also know that you're leaning into vices such as drugs or, or food or, or TV, social media, uh, lust, any sin, anything like that right and that's the thing you need to overcome first and foremost so you actually can overcome your problems right um, so I developed you know overcoming your body and your mind so you can actually start breaking these habits and vices and developing the right habits and, and ha routines and disciplines so you can actually start working on your problems all right so I highly advise breaking those and how do you do them is you know one step at a time, doing less and less, or completely cutting it off and replacing it with working out, healthy nutrition, healthy eating, healthy sleeping, uh, waking up early, discipline, hard stuff with a positive attitude, a lot of mindset work, a lot of stuff like that. But with that being said, guys, that's the video for today. This is Devin Kripe with DC Fitness and my Spartan Gods. You can find me at Devin Kripe on Facebook or Instagram. You can connect with me there, check out all my free content, so valuable, it will change your life. You can message me to join DC Fitness or my Spartan Gods program where I'll help you break all these vices, break all these habits, break all these limits and things that are holding you back from stepping into your true greatness. All right, with that being said, have a wonderful day, conquer everything, break those habits and vices and overcome all of that. All right, I believe in you, you got this. I'll see you guys next time. God bless, peace out.